Hey Pisces, what's going on? Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into your reading. Please be sure to give the reading a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if the reading helps, if I resonate with you. All right. With that being said, Pisces, let's go ahead and um, see what's going on with you and the person on your mind right now. How you all are feeling, things of that nature. And then uh, we're going to start getting into what I see happening next. So stay tuned watch the end of the end of the reading where I start talking about that what I see happening with you two next Pisces let's get into right now though currently presently how are Pisces and the person on their mind how are they moving forward together right now all right so the chaser all right so chaser <laughs> um I don't want to chase anymore um so there could be an energy of stillness between you two Whenever I see this, I'm looking at the dragonfly. Drag dragonflies are very quick movers and they move around a lot. And um, they move around very unexpectedly too, okay? Interestingly enough, the I'm hearing like tired of illusions, okay? Seeing through the veil. So I was gonna say, interestingly enough, the dragonfly in the animal spirit deck, which is sitting right over there, interesting. <laughs> I wanna use it, but I keep like forgetting to grab it, so. I'm going to use the animal spirit deck again, by the way, but um, <clears throat> the dragonfly in that deck has to do with illusions. And um, so I'm saying, interestingly enough, uh, Neptune, Pisces ruling planets, uh, one of Pisces ruling planets um, does have to have to do with illusions. OK, and the veil, right? Age of Pisces. We move into the age of Aquarius that is um, seeing behind the veil okay the veil the veil being lifted so right now okay so maybe i'm hearing like the veil being lifted okay i don't want to chase anymore um i don't want to have to figure out what's behind the veil i'm i'm going to be still and allow allow and see what's going to happen here okay so you and your person just could be in this place where you're being very still and understanding like there's a lot of things going on that i don't know about all right clarify pisces person right now responsibilities okay I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs so there again is um, the stillness okay and reality right so it's not about the imagination it's not about illusions or thinking about things the way we want it to be it is looking at what is around me right now so your person is like you know I need to hold on, hold on a second, be still and look around and make sure I'm handling my business. Okay. Clarify Pisces. Okay. New chapter. Hey Pisces. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, I was, uh, I pulled on where you're at right now and you have new chapter. Okay, so I am trying to move on. And yeah, I think that definitely goes right along with Chaser. Like you're done chasing something. You're done chasing a dream that maybe, you know, you had with who this is, all right? And you probably, you could be in a place where you're just accepting like things are the way they are, all right? Both you and your person could be doing this. And you're focusing on newness, all right? It could flat out just be like you're just focused on moving on from this right now, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, Pisces. Okay, so, so clarify. Um, chaser for Pisces. Clarify what's happening with these two. How are these two moving forward together? The runner. Oh my God. What's the runner and the chaser, all right? 
Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. So yeah, there's that just could be simply the energy of the connection. Like there's just a runner chaser type of connection here. All right. Uh, maybe sometimes you feel like you're going after who this is, Pisces. Your person could also say, I feel like I'm always going after, you know, Pisces. All right. Or like you all switch, you know, you all take turns being the runner chaser here. I kind of get the vibe like this person wants to go after you, Pisces, but like it says, like they're very focused on their responsibilities right now. All right. Um, on my financial and emotional needs. Clarify Pisces love interest or person on Pisces mind. Okay, the mask, the chaser, again. Um, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So I think if this person, if you were to ask their true feelings, Pisces, they would say, I would, I, I want to express myself to Pisces. I want to um, go after Pisces, but they're having to suppress that right now. They're having to hide that, okay? And Pisces, maybe you've called this person out on that. Maybe you've told your person like, hey, like, I know you have feelings for me. Um, or, you know, maybe you've called them out on whatever. And they're, you know, they're attempting to like, not tell you the truth about that. Okay. Clarify Pisces. Twin flames. Again, you have the chaser. So runner chaser makes sense, right? In a twin flame relationship, that's what they say. There's usually a runner and a chaser, okay? Um, I think right now, like you, you know, Pisces, you can even tell me like, yeah, like I do feel like this is kind of like that twin flame kind of connection um, <clears throat> with who this is. But I also feel like you're, you're recognizing, you know, Like it says, I don't want to chase anymore. I think you're recognizing something, Pisces, where you're wanting um, reciprocity in a, in a connection. You're more so in a place where you are wanting to connect with people that you don't have to go after or there's not that um, dynamic of push and pull. You're wanting balance, okay? And it looks like you're attracting that as well. Twin Flames is coming up for you, Pisces. Um you know, the new chapter that I, I'm getting that you're focused on is um, balance, okay? Relationships that are balanced in your life, okay? You're wanting that balance. I feel like you're also attracting that balance as well, Pisces. Because you're being still, okay? Clarify. Clarify how these two are moving forward together right now. Pisces and the person on your mind. How are these two moving forward together right now? The King of Wands. All right. So, wow. Two of Wands. Nine of Wands. A lot of Wands. This King of Wands is very interesting to me. Because it's someone who is like... This is Leo energy, so there could be, you know, you could have Leo in your chart, Pisces, your person could. But this is someone who is like willing to let it all go or like, I feel like this is you because you're you're trying to move on, you know, moving on to a new chapter. And look how he's, it's like he's watching the tower fall apart, all right? But it's a sense of being empowered, okay? So... I don't know if it's the both of you, Pisces, you and this person, but someone feels empowered here by ending things, okay? Letting things go, burning, you know, or, or watching just a relationship burn um, because they know what they want. You know, King of Wands is like, I know what I want. I know the direction that I'm moving on uh, onto. I know where I, I have a vision and I'm going to stick to it, all right? 
and there is this energy of like the first uh, the first uh, objective is um to be done with the past that is our first objective that is our mission right now to be done with the past okay Oh, whoa, lots of cards coming out. The Five of Cups, all, oh, so shout out over the king. So there's regret here. I'm just, I just saw the, um, there's a feeling of, of loss, okay? Mars energy, Mars and Scorpio. But it's like, yeah, this is ending. This is acceptance, okay? And there's regret, but there's also, you know, again, I feel like this is you too. Sometimes, you know, what I just heard is sometimes you have to be, you have to see or experience what you don't want to have complete clarity on what you do want. Okay. Okay. That's the last time Pisces promise. Okay. Um, so let's clarify your person. All right. Okay. Your person showing up as the two of cups. All right. So this is your energy. This is Venus, I believe. No, yeah, this is Venus and Cancer, but it's also Pisces energy, all right? Um, like I said, I feel like this person, um, it's interesting that we have responsibilities in Two of Cups and there's, you know, um, a couple's, card here Pisces so I don't know if this person is you know currently in a relationship right now and they're not telling you that all right there's that part I am getting that for some of you and um, that's what they're taking care of right now they're taking care of their own emotional needs um, but they're not expressing that to you I, but I do, outside of that, Pisces, I do feel like this person, um, something that they're hiding is that they do want a balanced relationship with you. They do want a balanced connection with you. All right. Clarify how Pisces is showing up here. The star and the eight of wands. Yeah. Again, <laughs> it's like you're very, like I even said, I think that you, you are attracting what it is you want by possibly moving on from this, right? Um, you're, you know, with the star energy, some of you, um, there's a lot of wish fulfillment here. And that's why I kind of got like, you don't know, but you're also like the new chapter you're stepping into Pisces, you're going to be celebrating um, possibly some sort of, you know, fame, popularity here. Okay. So there's that part. Um This is a lot of expansion, a lot of growth. Okay, we've got Jupiter, um, which is one of your planets. So you're moving forward in a di direction, Pisces. I feel that is um, you're you're following. I feel your intuition. You're following guidance. Okay, um, so you're moving in a direction that is very much in alignment with who you are. I am getting that. Like, you're aware of that. You are aware that this is in the past. It is what it is. I have to now move forward to it to, towards things that speak to my purpose, okay? That um, are in alignment with my higher self. I feel like you're very connected with your higher self right now, Pisces, okay? And this is absolutely, you know, 
I feel like you're moving in the right direction. You're trusting your guidance. And you're in a good place. Yeah, you're following a vision. I am I'm also seeing like lots of balance here with you, right? With the star and the twin flames card. Being in a very balanced space. It's like you're experiencing duality right now. Like, yes, you're experiencing like the darkness of what's going on here in this connection. The five of cups, a loss, but then you're headed towards the light, which is your king of wands. You're recognizing like, this is what it is. Okay, and I can remain in the dark about that. That's fine. But I want to head more towards, you know, um, it's like the North Node heading towards the light. Yeah, a lot of you are very purpose driven right now too, following your purpose, following your guidance. Um, a lot of your, for you, um, a lot of your North Node could be in Aries, okay, or you're connecting with um someone who um whose sun sign may be your north node okay something like that so yeah you're definitely definitely um there's a lot of expansion too and growth with you right now so that, like new chapter is very appropriate um you know what's funny is uh before i got cut off the first time i got a lot of you your sun sign may be in sag and um this is why the star in the Eight of Wands is coming up. Like you're about to celebrate a birthday. Um, you're celebrating another trip around the sun. You're going to be receiving a lot of um, attention. Okay, you're getting a lot of attention right now, Pisces. And yeah, you may regret the way that something worked out here with who this is. But you're headed towards... It's like you also are feeling good. Like, yeah, there's duality here. In this you're feeling upset but then also fine like, that's fine i'm done with it i'll be done with it i'll use that energy to my advantage to create something new like, you're almost feeling empowered by this okay that's what i'm getting pisces okay our new person um okay so please uh like leave a comment subscribe pisces okay sorry about the the, the pauses, the stops, I, I truly am. But I didn't want to re-record this because I felt like this reading made sense, okay? The way it was all the way it was all coming out. Alright, so let's see what happens next, Pisces. What we're gonna talk about on video part two of your reading. What happens next with Pisces and their uh, person on their mind. How will these two be moving forward together next, please? Okay, neglected. Okay. Um, I failed to give you what you need. And that could be your person, you know? That could be you also acknowledging, you know, Pisces, like, that relationship, that connection did not give me what I needed. It did not um, serve, serve me in a way, Okay. We'll see. We'll talk about this more um, in your extended. Okay, so this is how you how I see you two moving forward next, Pisces. Um, but I see you moving forward too here. Like to it's like newness, like to newer energy. So um, if you're gonna follow me, if you'd like to see what I pick up on in terms of everything happening next where this person would like you two to go, like what they want the outcome to be, what outcome do I get? And also your advice, Pisces, that is on Vimeo in the link, top of the, uh, the link is in the description, I'm sorry, top of the comments, all right? So if you're following me over there, I'll see some of you on that part of the reading. If this is where we part ways, Pisces, love you guys. I will see you all soon and take it easy. Be easy on yourselves, peace.